All right, y'all, welcome back to the Common Arms channel. All right, so today we're checking out something out of Estonia, and this is some Estonian police. Now, I looked at the channel, it, tr it translated to police and border guard board, but I'm not exactly too sure. Now, this looks pretty freaking high speed. It's a pretty short video, but I'm guessing, kind of looking at the description, they're using this as like a recruiting tool. And I think it does a pretty good job because it makes these guys look super, super high speed. So I think you guys can enjoy it. Again, it's only a minute and a half long, so nothing too crazy. But yeah, the gear looks sick. And yeah, it, it's really well produced from what I've seen. So let's go ahead and check it out. So they're rocking all black, which is a very police thing. Kind of separates them from the military, at least. Yeah, you guys can see what I'm talking about with the production. Okay, so yeah, the, the shots are really awesome, especially the, the crank AKs here. Yeah, that is um, pretty aesthetic. So... Okay, these guys are rocking some pretty cool guns. And then these guys, I mean, they're kind of just one-upping them with like the shot with the MP5. And then you got this sniper with a G36. What is that? Is that a... No, it looks like a G30, just a full-size G36, but I'm not too sure. And they have this cool armored truck, which I've not seen before. But yeah, when you, got, when you have the police like sort of standing on the side like that, you know it's about to be a cool shot following it. Okay, they're going all stealthy. Got some, oh, what the heck? Whoa, was that a shotgun with an EOTech? No way. Okay, that's kind of unique. So yeah, the ballistic shield is cool in and of itself, but a shotgun with an EOTech, I'm guessing that's like a, a less than lethal. But if it is like a combat shotgun, you don't see that too often. I mean, they got MP5s, that kind of does the trick right there, but. They're being all quiet and they have these massive strobes just blaring at the side of the building. Okay, that was an interesting ram. Never seen one like that. Oh, the laser. Hell yeah. A two man. Doors don't really do that. <laughs> okay, is he, is he just smoking the dude right now? Did he? No, okay, they're arresting him. Yeah, okay, so I'm guessing that was a, like a beanbag round or something. Okay, so before we get into them exfilling these guys, let's check out that again. Yeah, so again, the, the lights are cool. You can see they have the strobes and they're kind of just blaring it at the side. And then they got the MP5s, really cool, really aesthetic. Doing a sort of stealth entry, but they're using the white lights. So I'm guessing they don't really focus so much on, on night vision, which is fine. I mean, you don't really need it. They have the visible light, which... It's kind of cool, almost looks like it's photo or like edited in in post, but you can see when he lowers his weapon, it actually goes down as well. But I want to see this again. Yeah, that doesn't really happen so much with doors. I mean, you can defeat the hinges or you can defeat the, the throw and catch, but you're not really going to do both at once unless it's ballistic. Man, these guys had AKs on the on the table and Makarovs, okay. <laughs> yeah, and well, you can see they were not ready. That stealth entry worked pretty well, I guess. And then, of course, you got like the fog and the light sort of casting through the, the fog. Yeah, pretty cool recruitment video. Like, it's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, this is like very reminiscent of the Dutch DSi, I think. Gear isn't as nice, arguably, but they definitely have everything they would need, like the sweet ballistic shields, ballistic shields with lights, especially, which do help, especially in, you know, circumstances like this. But yeah, the body armor looks okay. They have these full face masks, which I'm always curious what those are for. I mean, generally, of course, with riot control, that's going to be a thing, but these look a little bit thicker, maybe like a sort of ballistic glass, but I'm not too sure if you guys have used this, especially as like a police force in this sort of element, not like riot control. Let me know what the purpose of that is versus like just a normal helmet. We can see some of these guys here were just rocking like helmets and goggles, but these full face shields, I mean, it gives you some pretty good protection, but I feel like it would be really like front heavy on the head and it might get like super annoying to be pulling on your neck. 
and then yeah, eh, light discipline wasn't that great since it, just leaving it on, but it's all right. Okay, cool. Definitely a cool recruitment video, I think. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many police units you would have in Estonia that would sort of fill this kind of role. Estonia isn't too big, and as far as my understanding, it's not crazy crime-ridden, so I'm not sure if they have multiple sorts of teams with different jurisdictions. Like, of course, here in the U.S., we have like county SWAT, you have state SWAT, I think, in, in some areas. Uh, and then, of course, you have like federal police and different types of federal police. So there's a lot of people and they can sort of overlap jurisdiction sometimes. But I'm not exactly sure if Estonia has too many different police units like that. But again, this was the border guard, judging by the YouTube channel. So I'm not sure what the border guard would be doing with this sort of stuff. Now, when I think of border guard, I don't necessarily think of these really high speed police doing stuff all over the place. But I mean, it's kind of like our BORTAC. Uh, I mean, generally the, the jurisdiction or the focus is going to be in a certain area, but of course they will be able to operate and do certain things. But we've also seen it with different border guards in other countries where they're not like so fixated on the borders themselves from what it looked like. I'm not exactly sure how that works or where the name border guard comes from specifically when you're talking about police and internal affairs like this, but maybe they're just more specialized to handle things coming in as far as like, drugs and criminals especially like gun smuggling maybe that's kind of their jurisdiction but these guys definitely look high speed i'd like to check out some other police units if estonia has some other high speed police units definitely recommend them down below if you guys have any experience with these definitely let me know that as well because we've done stuff i think specifically with the dutch dsi and a lot of y'all actually shared some pretty interesting stories of them like raiding your house or raiding the neighbor's house and usually a mix up but yeah it's kind of it's kind of funny to get those personal experiences of people getting their door blown in or you know breached and what have you and they're kind of like yeah oh crap I'm like what's going on here the dutch dsi is showing up with these cool gray kits and yeah it's gonna be pretty intimidating and these guys you can imagine are gonna be pretty intimidating especially doing like all that the the quiet entry that's pretty sweet. But honestly, I think these criminals were kind of just like lightweight. They didn't have any security posted or anything. So the police were able to just walk up, breach, and that was pretty much it. Game over. Once you have that shock and awe kind of going against you, yeah, you're you're kind of screwed. Especially when these guys come in with like all these black kits and they have these big ballistic shields and MP5s with lights and lasers on your face. Yeah, it's going to make you think twice. But definitely a cool video. And again, pretty solid quality. I mean, it's a minute and a half long video on this pretty unassuming YouTube channel. But I mean, you guys already know there's a lot of cool stuff out there. And yeah, that's why I appreciate you guys recommending it. I can't always find like these really sort of hidden, low key, cool videos, especially these cool units, if it weren't for y'all. So I do appreciate it. Definitely recommend some more stuff down in the comment section or head on over to the Discord and recommend it there. Of course, if you guys want some merch, that's also down in the video description. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, thank you for enjoying this cool video with me. But that is it for this one. I will see y'all in the next one.